Hello, and in this screencast for Apache ISIS, I want to show you how we can use subscribers to hide functionality that's contributed by the framework, um, or indeed for any functionality provided by your own application, of course. Uh, the functionality I'm referring to is the, on the metadata tab where we have some contributed properties but also some uh, actions as well. So I'll show you how to hide this clear hints action. I'm going to go to the web app module, you'll see why in just a second. I'm going to create a new subscriber. Um, this is going to be called Hide Clear Hints. And so I want to have a method called Add. Uh, the mixin is called this and it provides a domain event called that. And I need to mark the action with at subscribe and so the reason I have to write this subscriber in the web app module is because you can see that this uh, mix-in comes from the wicked viewer so this is to do with just having the right class path um, and uh, I can then check the phase and if the phase is hide then I want to go just hide always hide this action um, so that's that. The only other thing I need to do is I need to make sure this subscriber is picked up automatically. For that I need to go to where the manifest is defined, which is here. And uh, what I've done is I've added in a new module, and the module is just defined actually here as well. All that's really being used is the the package name, so you can see domain app, web app happens to be coincidentally the package where my uh, subscriber is that I want to register. So uh, let's run up the application one more time. OK, and let's have a look at the app. So we go to the metadata tab, and this time we can see that the clear hints has uh, disappeared. Um, and just to prove it's working, let's uh, just uh, hop comment out that line, uh, reload, change classes. And uh, if I re-render the page and then we should see it's back again. Okay, so that's another use of subscribers um, to hide uh, behavior. Thanks. Check it out.